Welcome to BioStream 360. I'm Owen Ambrose, and today I tread new ground. I'm here in North Bergen, New Jersey, at a place that was formerly known as the Granton Quarry. Now this site brought me here because it's supposedly home to a lot of fossils. And what I'm looking for is a way to access those fossils and see what I can find. Now I've never been here before, I've never seen images of the place, I have no idea how it works, I only know what's possible to find here, and that's what attracted me to it. As you might be able to see, this is in the middle of a sprawling urban area, and there is development all around me. This is one of the very few little patches of undisturbed, well, disturbed, but undeveloped area. And what I'm doing is walking up this steep incline that was a quarry over a hundred years ago. Now this remnant of a quarry sprawled from here to the end of the parking lot in that direction and the Walmart in that direction. And of course that's no longer the case. You could see that there are retail developments in either direction at this point. I'll be honest, I have no idea as to whether or not I'm going to find anything today. As of right now, I don't even think I want to dig because the feeling here is just pretty awful. Um, you could probably see that all around the incline that I'm walking on, there's graffiti. I don't think people really come here too often with any interest in digging fossils. It's more likely that people come here to, uh, to have some kind of illicit fun. But I'm going to walk around, I'll see where all of the little trails that have formed throughout the place lead to, and I'll determine whether any of those trails lead me to something that seems diggable. Again though, it doesn't seem good right now. So I'm at the top of the quarry site, and I wasn't kidding when I said it is developed all around here. I feel like eyes are on me from every direction, and if they're on right now, they will be soon. The wind just picked up as I started filming. Let's check this trail here. Typically when I do these bio streams, I have a lesson and idea of what I'm going to talk about in mind. Um, this is kind of a surprise one for me. I wasn't expecting or planning to come out today, but I got the chance to. And perhaps unfortunately, this is the place I chose to visit. Yeah, none of this, none of this looks promising at all. Even if there was something promising on the side here, you could see that it's a straight drop down. So. There's no way I'm going to be working there. Let's go back this way. I may just spend a few minutes going through on the ground and seeing if there's any fossils in that. Now this quarry was once used as a source of um, filling stone for things like railroad tracks and believe it or not many of the railroad tracks around here are actually really good fossil hunting sites as well um, because when they broke the stone up here and transported it to those railroad beds the, uh, the fossils that were in this stone kind of made it and ended up in 
those areas. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. So you can see the parking lot straight to my right. Of course, I'm standing on the top of this outcrop. Anybody going by could see me. And while I don't know that it's not legal to be at this place, it never feels good to, to be doing any kind of exploration or fossil hunting when people are looking at you, wondering what you're doing and wondering if they should come and stop you. Let me check right over here. We have a lot of broken up stone here. This might be a good spot for me to check. That's the kind of spot that I was hoping to find a lot of. You can see the layers there. Those layers, if I find areas that are soft enough and have kind of a greenish tint, um, those are the spots that I want to dig in. Now, these spots are pretty small, but they're absolutely better than nothing. I don't expect that I'll spend very long here trying. It just doesn't feel good here at all. This is probably one of my least favorite areas I've ever visited. Um, looks like I arrived at a former homeless camp. You can see there's a fire pit here. Looks like an old heater. Um, hot, so people were definitely spending time here cooking and probably living. But I do see a bag filled with stone there, so perhaps somebody else came here with the same intention and wanted to see what they could find. So let's go check that bag of stone and see if there's anything interesting in that. There really doesn't seem to be anything. This might have just been used as an anchor wait for um, what was possibly a tent. I can actually, I have a really good sense of smell and I could smell that a person was staying here. Now, that fire pit doesn't look too old, but um, clearly if anybody was spending time here, they, they are not right now. I don't smell the fresh fire, but I do smell what's a, a clear remnant of a person having spent a lot of time here. So I'm going to go through these ledges here uh, for a few minutes, see what I can find. There's not much of a lesson in this bio stream other than, you know, this is what happens to places when humans develop all around them. And this is what will happen to some of the places that I've already filmed if they're not preserved. The, uh, the areas just get squeezed smaller and smaller and smaller and as development occurs around them, people use those spaces for reasons other than their natural beauty. And it's pretty unfortunate, but that's how it goes. I'm Owen Ambrose, this was Biostream 360. There will be no part two to this video, but I hope you learned something, I hope you saw something new, and I'll see you on the next adventure. This wasn't an adventure. Bye.